Hey, how's it going everybody? Justin again as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. I apologize ahead of time for some of the background noise. It's laundry night. Got to make sure the chitlins have clean clothes. You know how that goes. To my parents out there anyways. So today's topic, I wanted to talk about a little bit of something that's been asked of me uh, in the past as well as presently from one of our new texts that we got here at the shop is uh, what are some of the things that I can do to prepare myself to uh, possibly take the ASC tests? And what are some of the books that I would recommend uh, to anyone that's getting ready to study for any one of those kind of tests? Uh, you can see I have in front of me the Del Mar ASC test preparation guidebooks. Uh, I got one here for engine performance, another one for heating and air conditioning, and another one for engine repair. I also have one for brakes and steering and suspension, and I think I have one for exhaust, uh, but I got those out in, in storage right now. So, But these are the ones that I was mostly uh, interested in trying to get better at, so these are the ones that I, I keep in the garage and do a little side reading here and there when I have time. Uh, but as I said, if you're not actively involved in what it is that you want, uh, then you don't really want it. If, if you're a mechanic or you're an aspiring mechanic or an expiring uh, technician, and you just truly want to get better at your craft and you don't have a lot of information out there you know as far as like how to study I'll put some links down in the description to some of the YouTube channels that I've gone to for strictly ASC preparation uh, as well as links to the books that I purchase and use to study now I haven't taken an ASC test in probably about three or four years I wanted to give myself a little bit more time a little bit more hands-on training uh, start learning a lot more of the vocabulary and names of different sensors and things like that and how they work and in what situations they would cause drivability issues and things of that nature so <clears throat> it's not that I haven't wanted to go take a test I've just been putting it off for a little bit to try to fine hone my skills and uh, in my spare time if if I have a little bit of spare time or I'm you know uh, waiting around at the armory or I've got a weekend where I'm watching the kids I'll, I'll just go through the book and I'll read it a little bit and then I'll go to the back of the book and I'll just start taking their tests now in the back of these Del Mar books they actually give you sheets of uh, they give you a glossary but they also give you sheets of paper that you can use um, so that way you don't have to worry about making lines and notepads or whatever you can actually use these uh, sheets in the back as your answer sheets so that's kind of helpful and then in the back it'll go through and it'll give you answers to the questions that you were trying to uh, to take on the test, the practice quiz and say you got something wrong it'll not only uh, tell you which one is correct but then why are the other ones incorrect or why that one was the best option uh, for the specific questions that you were looking up uh, and in the engine performance one, it does cover a little bit of electrical. That's another book that I'm going to have to get a little bit further down the road uh, in the coming months. Because as I draw close to, uh, I think I've got like one more year left uh, before my certification runs out. I want to get the electrical book before then so that, that way I can use it uh, together with the engine performance one to make myself you know more prepared when I go in to take the engine performance test and the heating and air conditioning test because there are some electrical questions as well in the uh, heating and air conditioning book so electrical is going to be a huge part of a lot of the tests guys they are going to give you at least you know 10 questions that have to do with some kind of sensor or potentiometer or something of that nature or maybe a hall effect sensor so there's going to be all different types of sensors electrical they're going to ask you questions what kind of voltage you can expect here and there just to kind of throw into the mix to see what your your total aptitude is uh, for that particular area i believe they cover um the delmar covers you know all of the ASC um, sections that there are. I know there's there used to be A1 through A8, now I think it's A1 through A9 and then of course you have your L series tests that you can take uh, that have to do with more more of the advanced side of engine performance and things like that so really really good study guide if you haven't uh, looked into them before I strongly recommend that you at least pick one book up give it a read for yourself and uh, see how the testing goes for you. Other than that, again, I'll try to go back to the channel that I utilized when I was studying for my 
brakes exam and the engine performance test that I took, like I said, about three or four years back. And I'll try to put that down in the description for you guys. Great channel. Uh, learned a lot. Uh, it does get rather dry, so you got to take breaks. You know, it's a, I think it's like a, sometimes it's like a 20 to 20 minute to an hour long uh, study uh, thing that they do on YouTube. So I'll try to see if I can't find those video clips and put them down in the description for you guys. That's all I got. If you've got other questions about this specific product, um, again, look down in the description. I'll try to answer any questions that I possibly can. But outside of just my own personal opinion and my own personal experience in utilizing their study guides for taking ASC exams, that's all I can offer you. I'm sure others can comment down below if there are some other resources that uh, future techs or future ASC certified techs can go to for extra study material. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down. Share if you want to share. And by all means, if you have more information about how an aspiring mechanic or technician can get ASC certified and you have some other information of where they can go to take these preparation tests, please put it in the comments. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys next time.